Hello, ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most white boy, 7th Street, bringing you another fantastic episode of High School Stories, and we get a little bit of KSG action, kill confirmed on raid, ground war, and I know there's a lot of raid gameplays going up on my channel, but I think I, I conquered this map, I know it really well, and I beast on it, so maybe watch a few of my gameplays, and if you're not comfortable with Ray, you can learn some of my techniques and stuff that I do uh, to get better. Dexterity is fantastic on raids because there's so many little ledges that you can jump on and, and this game's not starting off too well but uh, uh, first and foremost I do want to thank all you guys out there. I've been uploading some classic like PS1 games on the channel and to, to see the support on those videos is crazy because it, it, it makes me feel like you're not just here for Call of Duty, you're here for me and you're here for my personality and my stories and because you like me as a person, not just because I'm a beast at uh, Call of Duty. So I thank you, uh, we just played just, like it's silly games, like we just played Justin Bieber and Dodgeball from like a 2003 game from like Tokyo or Japan or something and that <laughs> that was fun but ridiculous anyways so high school stories I asked on Twitter what do you guys want to see and uh, a lot of people suggested that I talk about cheating in in like high school tests and I don't condone cheating but am I gonna care no I, I don't take things seriously you know do what you do YOLO swag and all that type of stuff but I do have a, a few stories a few funny stories and I told this one uh, before but I'm not sure if you guys heard it so right now I'm dying a lot in the gameplay but that's the the good thing about the tactical insertion you might think I'm doing horrible but I'm getting like one two kills and then I'm dying and then it but I'm like doing it so fast that it doesn't matter and then I'm gonna get like a nice little kill streak right here and makes it fancy and made it all worth it so uh, it, it, like you can keep on breaking them you keep on trying to break their their spawn and like flank them and just like run through the middle and as soon as you do get like through their through their spawn or through that initial wall of, of defense, uh, you can have moments like that where you absolutely destroy them. So, anyways, cheating. Um, in sixth grade in science class, uh, I was actually kind of smart back then, and I would sell my homework to my friend for a dollar. And if you want to make money in school, um, <laughs> there's a huge market for homework. I, I can tell you that. So, you know, he would give me a dollar for my my homework, and I would use that dollar. In return to go to the the snack we had a little snack thing and i would buy some snacks for for lunch and it was a win-win situation but one year um the answer i don't know what it was it was a four letter answer and it was supposed to be mold but i put cold and no one did this <laughs> no one did this homework so uh everybody like everybody in the class copy i mean i made bank that i made bank that day but everybody <laughs> Everybody got one answer wrong and the teacher freaked out. There was no more snacks for a week. There was like, there was punishment and uh, no one ever like copied at, uh, off of me again. So I think I, I ruined my market uh, right there. But you guys are lucky growing up nowadays because there's like the, the internet. And there was the internet back when I was growing up. But there wasn't the file sharing and like the, there was, I guess there was instant messaging. But it's so much more massive now so you guys are a little bit more lucky you guys can uh, network uh, a little bit more but another another funny story this is way back when i was in third grade so i took spanish for five years while i was in elementary school and i learned gato is cat pantalones is pants i don't know why i got like pussy or, or cat and pants in the same thing el, el grande is big um telefono and not too much, so I wasn't really, like, the highest I got in Spanish was a C. Usually, that was, like, the only class I failed, because I just could not comprehend uh, another language. So, what would uh, we do? Me and my, look at me, dolphin diving into final kill cam. Me and my, my friend Johnny, which was Hispanic, and we took the, the same bus route. Uh, I would do his math homework, and he would do my Spanish homework, and we would trade off like that and it, it was a win-win situation and I never did get caught and I got my I got my C that when, when I started to copy I got my C and I, I was so proud of myself and I was the worst at Spanish no bueno no bueno at Spanish so uh, <laughs> yeah guys that's high school stories thanks for watching and I will see you guys later bye